There we go, that fits. Alright, they've struck to Yoshi's story. Um, this is going to be very volatile because, number one, Ganondorf can control a lot of this stage, particularly against himself. And for another thing, he's just going to kill at really early percents. Um, so far, Fluffy Lemons hasn't even got a hit. Um, ooh, he went all the way out there. Dang. Alright, well... Wow, we're still in JV range. This is crazy. Okay, he finally manages to at least trade and get some damage on him, but Fluffy's really got to put something together here. Oh no, the Randall, you troll. All right, he's back on stage, and he finally lands a clean hit. Let's go, Josh. Oh, but Mr. Brandendorf's got the 69. God. All right, there we go. Gets a down air, but doesn't get the second down air because he gets a shield up in time. Um, hmm. Good back air, finishes that stock. He's still got a ways to go, but this is a doable comeback. Let's see if he can get back into his comfort zone. Oof, that was scary. Needs to stop trying to shield grab when he's facing the wrong way. That's one thing. Oh, you, wow, that was a great read. He went all the way down there and got him with a reverse back air. Or up air. Good spacing by Mr. Brandendorf, but he finally gets hit with a uh, double forward air. Fluffy stays too close to the edge on the edge guard, and oh, wow. Oh, man. Apparently that up B was a complete accident, according to Mr. Brandendorf. Wow, that was a very convincing first game. Let's see where Fluffy decides to take him. Uh, they're going to Dreamland. He wants, oh, excuse me. He wants more space, presumably. Um, Fluffy really enjoys just getting in there and forward airing you until he pokes your shield. Um, and this will give him room to space those. Nice clank, but he isn't able to throw any more moves out, and so he's in a combo. Interesting. I wonder if he meant to do that forward tilt high. Maybe he was trying to cover a jump. That's an interesting theory. Fluffy with a good uh, fadeaway forward air. He's trying to get that uh, reverse up air that he was killed with before, but he gets hit without his double jump, and that's a stock. Nice back air, got him off stage. Uh, doesn't quite get that reverse up air, but he gets a freebie. Let's see what he can make with it. Oh. I forgot to update the set count. And I forgot to update that this is not friendly, this is a singles bracket. There we go. Mr. Brandendorf with a good forward air, got him off. That up air will probably be it. Yep. Three stocks to one. Good read, he just doesn't get the aerial out in time. Isn't able to follow up that down air either. Um, I think Fluffy might not be used to the Ganon Ditto because he's missing a lot of these follow-ups. And he's just kind of looking at him. It looks like it's the hesitation of someone who doesn't know what he's supposed to do next. Um, whereas Mr. Brandendorf appears to know a lot of uh, Ganondorf's recovery weaknesses and how to exploit them. Oh! Catches him just before he's about to input a uh, Batmobile and he just sends himself straight down. Wow! And just like that, we've got a two-stock swing. I'm sure Mr. Brandendorf is looking to clean things up quickly, but he just gave Fluffy Lemons an opportunity that he didn't want to give him. So yeah, it looks like he's playing a lot more safe, and that forward air might honestly be it. Gets an up air, but he sends him high. Oh, good recovery by Fluffy using the double down B. Gets jabbed, he's up on a platform, not where he wants to be, that's game.